Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the RTX 3060 to mine Ethereum to its full potential. Now, recently, due to the mining craze, NVIDIA implemented a mining limiter, which will cut your hash rates by about half when mining Ethereum. But with this guide, I'll show you how to bypass the mining limiter and achieve 50 mega hashes on the RTX 3060. I will also be going over the cost, the availability, and the profits mining Ethereum on the RTX 3060 as well. And I'll provide all the important links in the description below. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of Miner. Okay, so this is the RTX 3060 from Gigabyte. And this is the RTX 3060 Gaming OC Edition, which comes with three fans. Now for a quick overview, this is of course the RTX 3060 non-TI. You can set the core clocks all the way up to 1837 MHz. It has 3584 CUDA cores. You can set the memory clocks all the way up to 15,000 MHz. The memory size is 12 GB. The memory type is GDDR6. It has 192-bit memory bus and it does use one 8-pin power connector to power the card. Now I do all my testings on my test bench, and if you do want a quick part list of my test bench, the motherboard is a Gigabyte Z270P-D3 motherboard. The CPU is an LGA1151 Intel Pentium processor. I have 4 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and the power supply is an EVGA 1200 watt power supply. Okay, so before I start testing the GPU, there are two different drivers you can use with the RTX 3060. You can use the most current drivers as of today, which is version 466.27, or you can use the dev drivers version 470.05. And here's a quick overview. Now I'll first show you the results using the current drivers, which is with the mining limiter implemented, and then I'll test out the dev drivers to bypass the mining limiter. Now there are additional steps you'll need to take with the dev drivers in order to bypass the mining limiter, but I'll explain that in more details a little further down this video when I test out the dev drivers. Okay, so let's first test out the RTX 3060 with the current drivers as of today, which is version 466.27. And I do want to mention back in February, due to the mining craze, Nvidia did implement a mining limiter to reduce your hash rates on mining Ethereum by about half. Now this mining limiter only affected the F hash algorithm and not the other algorithms. So you'll be able to mine any other coins without any limits. Okay, and now the miner program I'm personally going to use is called Phoenix Miner 5.5C. But there are other miner programs out there that may get you slightly different results. And the overclock tool I'm gonna to use is called MSI Afterburner. Now there are different skins for MSI Afterburner, but it will all work the same. Okay, so jumping into Windows, let's first test out the RTX 3060 with the current drivers, version 466.27. And for the overclocks, let's start at stock settings. Okay, so starting up the miner program, you'll see I'm getting around 40 mega hashes right off the bat. But then after a couple seconds, you'll see I'm losing about half my hash rates. So to about 21 mega hashes. So on stock settings with the current drivers, I was getting around 21 mega hashes and the whole test bench was pulling around 148 watts. So the GPU itself was only pulling around 112 watts. Now I do want to mention that because I'm remoting into my test bench to record this video, I'm losing about one to one and a half mega hashes mining Ethereum. But when I test out the dev drivers, I'll show a recording from my phone so you can see the max hash rates. So let's check this out. Okay, now let's test out the best overclock efficiency settings I tested on the current drivers. So in MSI Afterburner, I put the power limit at 58%, the core at zero, and the memory at plus 1,500. Okay, so now running the miner again with the current drivers, in the beginning, I was getting around 45 mega hashes. But then it drops all the way down to 26 mega hashes. 
So with these overclock settings, I was getting around 26 mega hashes and the whole test bench was pulling around 134 watts. So the GPU itself was only pulling around 98 watts. So let's check this out. Okay, so now let's uninstall the current drivers and install the dev drivers. So one of the best ways to uninstall your video card driver is to use DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. And you can just search it in Google by typing DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. And I'll also have a link in the description below. Okay, so now let's click here to download DDU. Once you're on this page, you want to scroll all the way down until you see the download links. And then choose the download link which is closer to your area. Once you click the download link, you'll need to wait about 4 to 5 seconds and the file will automatically install. Once downloaded, find the file you downloaded. It will be a zip folder. Once you find the zip folder, you'll need to extract this one file. And the easiest way to extract this file is just dragging the file out of the zip folder like so. Once extracted, it will ask you to extract another folder. Once you do so, you'll see this DDU folder. Click inside this folder, and it will be this program right here. Display Driver Uninstaller. Go ahead and go through the settings. Now, it is recommended to use this tool in safe mode, but I haven't had any problems using this in the normal Windows mode. So go ahead and click OK. Now, next, you do want to select your device type, which is GPU, and then select device, which is NVIDIA. And then go ahead and click on clean and restart. Let the tool do its work. And when the computer restarts, you will have no video card driver installed on your PC. Okay, so next let's download the dev drivers and check out the other requirements to bypass the mining limiter. Now, if you join my Discord, I have a link to download the dev drivers. And I also have a link in the description below. Now, once you download the dev drivers, there'll be other requirements needed to bypass the mining limiter. The RTX 3060 must be on a PCIe 3.0 on a X16 or X8 slot. So it's very picky on what motherboards you can use. So for example, the motherboard I have on my test bench is a Gigabyte Z270P-D3 motherboard. Now, just by checking out the picture, it looks like this motherboard has three X16 slots. But just be aware, the other X16 slots may run at X8, X4, or even at X1. So you do want to check out the specs. So if I check out the specs page and check out the expansion slot, you'll see that this motherboard can actually only use one PCIe Express X16 slot. If you want to run multiple, it'll be running at X4 or X1. So with this motherboard, you can only use one RTX 3060 to its full potential. Another example I have is the H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. This is one of the most popular mining motherboards out there. Now, just by checking out the picture, it looks like this only has one PCIe X16 slot. And if you check out the specs right here, it looks like that one PCIe slot is a 3.0 X16 slot, and the remaining slots are all X1 slots. So this motherboard, you can only use one RTX 3060 to its full potential. Another example I have is the ASUS Prime Z930-A motherboard. Now, just by checking out this picture, it looks like this motherboard has three X16 slots. But let's check out the specs. Okay, so now checking out the specs and check out the expansion slots. You'll see that this motherboard has two PCIe 3.0 that can run at X16 and at X8. And the remaining PCIe X16 slot will be running at X4. So with this motherboard, you can use up to two RTX 3060s to its full potential. And the last example I have is the ASRock X399 Tai Chi motherboard. And just by checking out the picture, it looks like this motherboard has four X16 slots. But let's check out the specs. So if you check out the specs and then the slots section, you'll see that this motherboard has four PCIe 3.0 X16 slots. And it states right here, you can run quad at X16, X8, X16, and X8. So with this motherboard, you can get up to four RTX 3060s mining F to its full potential. Okay, so jumping back to the requirements, you can't use any PCIe risers that are X1 slots. Now, if you want to use PCIe risers, it has to be the X16 slot risers. 
So for example, if you get these risers, which are the standard risers for mining, these are PCIe X1 to X16 slot risers. So using these risers will limit your hash rates mining Ethereum on the RTX 3060. Now, if you did want to use risers, you do have to get the PCIe X16 riser extension cable. Now these risers are pricier, but this will allow you to get the full hash rates mining Ethereum on the RTX 3060. Okay, so now the last requirement is have the RTX 3060 connected to an HDMI monitor or an HDMI dummy plug. For example, if you have an RTX 3060 or multiple RTX 3060s and you don't want to connect them to an HDMI monitor, you can always use these HDMI dummy plugs. And this dummy plug will bypass the mining limiter to mine ETH on the RTX 3060. Okay, so now let's jump back into Windows and install the dev driver version 470.05. So once you download the dev drivers, go ahead and install it. Now, when I install the dev drivers for mining, I will not install GeForce Experience. Now, if this is your gaming PC that you're mining on, then I would download GeForce Experience. Okay, so now for this installation options, you can either choose Express or Custom. Let's go ahead and choose Custom because there are a couple components we do not need. Now, once you're on the Custom installation options, go ahead and uncheck the HD audio driver and the PHYSX system software because these components are not needed for mining. Now you don't need to perform a clean installation because we did use DDU to uninstall the previous drivers. So let's go ahead and run this installation and check this out. Once the dev drivers are installed, go ahead and restart the system. Okay, so now the dev drivers are installed, so let's mine Ethereum with the RTX 3060. I'm gonna first test out the RTX 3060 on stock settings. So running the miner program, I'm getting around 40 mega hashes. Now the whole test bench is pulling around 185 watts. So the GPU itself is pulling around 149 watts. So let's check this out. Okay, so now let's test out the best efficiency overclock settings on the dev drivers. So in MSI Afterburner, I put the power limit at 70%, the core at zero, and the memory at plus 1,500. Now running the miner program with the dev drivers, I was getting around 49 mega hashes when remoting into my test bench. Now because I'm remoting in, I'm losing around one to one and a half mega hashes. So I'll show you a clip right after this, and you'll see that I was getting around 50 mega hashes. But let's check this out. Okay, so now let me show you a clip of the RTX 3060 getting around 50 mega hashes, and this is without remoting in, but I'm using a camera to record the screen. So the visuals may not be the best. So with these overclock settings, I was getting around 50 mega hashes, and the whole test bench was pulling around 155 watts. So the GPU itself was pulling around 119 watts. So let's check this out. Okay, next I do want to show you a quick troubleshooting that you may run into on the RTX 3060. You may get some invalid shares when mining right away with the best efficiency overclock settings. Now invalid shares is due to high overclocks, but there were incidents where I was getting invalid shares when I barely overclocked the GPU. So in order to fix this, first set your overclocks to the best efficiency settings, then only change your memory clock back to zero. Start the miner program. Let the miner program run for at least five minutes or until you find a valid share. Then set your memory back to the best efficiency overclock settings. So for me, that'll be back to plus 1,500. So let's check this out. Okay, next I do want to talk about the cost and availability on the RTX 3060. 
Now the cost and availability is just as of today, May 10th of 2021. So down the road, this information may be a lot different. Now when the RTX 3060 was first announced, it had an MSRP of $329. But due to the mining craze, it was very difficult to get these cards at MSRP or close to MSRP. So first checking out Micro Center, which is my local computer store, sold out. Checking out Best Buy, sold out. And checking out Newegg, sold out. So it's pretty much sold out everywhere. Now, if you did really want the RTX 3060, you do have to buy them from scalpers. So checking out eBay, as of today, it looks like the RTX 3060 is going for around $900. Now, I highly recommend not to buy GPUs at scalper prices because it's not going to be worth it. Now, if you join my Discord, I have a section for GPU release notice and a new X shuffle notice. And you can try your luck and take your chances to get the new RTX cards at or near MSRP. Now, I was very fortunate to win the RTX 3060 from a new X shuffle. So I was able to buy the RTX 3060 near MSRP. Okay, so now let's check out the profits for the RTX 3060. Now, just be aware, these profits are just for today, May 10th of 2021. And these profits will change daily. So by the time you're watching this video, the profits may be way off. And I do want to mention that today, the block rewards are a lot higher than average. So these profits will be a lot different once the block rewards come down. So pulling up what to mine, the price of Ethereum as of today is about $3,935.27. So first clicking on the RTX 3060, it's showing 24 mega hashes at 110 watts. But this is if you're using the current drivers. Let's go ahead and fix this up because it's best to use the dev drivers to get the max hash rates. So let's change the hash rate to 50 mega hashes and change the power to 119 watts. Now where I live in the US, I do pay about 10 cents per kilowatt hours. So now calculating, I'll be earning around $11.53 a day before electricity and about $11.24 a day after electricity. And if I multiply the profits by 30 to get the month, I'll be earning around $345.90 a month before electricity or $337.20 a month after electricity. But this is just calculating the profits as of today. And like I mentioned, the block rewards are higher than average. So if you calculate your profits a couple of days later, you may see a big decrease. Now, just be aware that the profits do change daily. So I recommend to plug in the figures again whenever you want to calculate your profits. Profits are based on the price of the coin, the difficulty, and the block rewards. And any of these factors can change daily. Alright, so thanks for checking out my guide on how to set up the RTX 3060 to mine Ethereum. And if you did want to check out detailed testings and overclocks on the RTX 3060, check out my other video on the RTX 3060 mining Ethereum. And if you have any tips and tricks or feedback, drop it in the comments below. And if you have any questions you want to ask me live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life miner every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub your side to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan. So make sure you subscribe to The Life of a Miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on The Life of a Miner.